Zealand, New Zealand, I am in New Zealand. Chilla. Hey everybody! I hope you're all having a wonderful week and your Friday. It's gonna be chilled, it's gonna be exciting for the weekend ahead. So I'm gonna be talking about getting the overnight sleeper train from Bangkok to Chiang Mai or vice versa. Luckily, we did both ways and we got two different types of trains, so I can talk about both with you. Now, getting the overnight sleeper train to Chiang Mai is probably the most popular way to get up to Northern Thailand and it's one way I'd really recommend. Now, you have normally three options. You can go first class where you have your own little sectioned cabin with a bunk bed for two people. You can go second class, which is what we did, where it's very open and depending upon the train, which we'll get to later, you kind of share the whole carriage and they pull down all the bunk beds. Or third is you just get a seat. But it is over 12 hours. I think it's around 15 hours overnight. So I would not recommend a seat because even second class with your own bed is still pretty cheap. So first off, when you get to the train station in Bangkok, you want to go past anyone who's trying to stop you and point you that way for tickets or this way for tickets. No, go straight into the train station and go up to the ticket desk. There will be a lady outside by the queues She'll ask you where you're going so she can point you in the right queue. You go up, make sure you take your passport and you book your overnight ticket. Generally, you have to book in advance slightly by at least a couple of days and high season, maybe give it three days in advance. So let's say you're going second class like us, then you will have an option of top bunk or bottom. We actually didn't get the option because all the bottom bunks were sold out, but that was fine. We took the top bunks and my partner's six foot one and a half and it was fine for him on the top bunks and they are slightly cheaper. So first off, when you get to the train station for your train, make sure you get there at least 15 minutes before, at least, because as you can see, I'm gonna speed it up, it takes a long time. This train is massive. It, it seems to just go on forever. Once you jump aboard, a lady will meet you, take your ticket, check your seat number normally, and she will take you to your little assigned cubicle like we had on our first one, and on the way back, it was more of an open plan. Once you settled in and got comfy, she will come around and see if you want any food, and I'm gonna tell you right now, don't even bother. It is around three or four pounds, between 175, excuse me, between 175 and 200 baht per meal, and then they'll get you to buy orange juices and coffees in the morning. And I'm just gonna tell you, do not bother, take your own food because it's not good. I mean, it's, it's just really not good, so just don't do it. Then after about an hour or so, or even less, a gentleman comes down and he makes up everyone's beds pretty early. So then you have to kind of jump up to your top bunk or stay in your bottom bunk from quite early on. Now that's on the first train and the second train that we took where they pulled down the top bunks for you. It's a bit more cramped there, but either way, make sure you kind of weigh yourself out that day so you can just jump into bed and go to sleep. So once the lovely man has made up your bed, you've climbed in, you're getting comfy, then feel free to do whatever you want, wander around the carriages. Um, there's absolutely no smoking on board anywhere these trains anymore. There used to be a section you could smoke, you can't anymore, just for all you smokers out there. I will talk about safety because a lot of people worry. Now, if you're on the top bunk or the bottom, on the first train we went on, then there is a storage section in your little compartment that you're sharing with two other people above the two top bunks. And to be honest, we felt so safe. We just left our stuff there. Now on the second train where all the beds fold out either side of the carriage and everything's very open, all your bags are just kind of left in the corridor. I did sleep with my handbag with all of my, like, my passport, my cards, everything, and my laptop under my pillow just because you never know and I didn't have anything to safely hook on my bag to the railings. And I did wake up a few times and check all my things were there. Now that might have just been me being overly conscious, but it is has it has been known for travelers to have things stolen on overnight trains in Bangkok. However, in general, I felt very safe. I didn't feel I need to sleep with my backpack. My backpack was really close by to me. 
So I really wouldn't stress too much about it, but if you do feel worried, take out anything valuable and the bed is big enough to sleep with it either at the top or the bottom of the bed with you. Then make sure that if you are going Bangkok to Chiang Mai, that you wake up slightly early, you will. The first train was very smooth, so we weren't woken up as much as the second train. Just make sure you get up for sunrise and watch the hills and you'll stop at little places. So if you are a smoker, you can jump out. If you see all the other train people jump out, you can jump out and have a smoke with them. But you get to see some stunning views in the morning. So, and if you do like your coffee, as you won't be arriving in Chiang Mai on certain trains till about 9.30, 10 o'clock if it's delayed. Thai people aren't always on time, or they're never on time. Take some iced coffee with you. At the moment, they are all air conned, which is, fantastic because in the heat we were going through you don't want anything less than AC. Trust me, pay more for it. <laughs> I can happily say the Gangyo overnight train was actually one of the highlights of my time in Thailand. Now here's a little bit of extra advice for you. There are a lot of ticket agencies around the stations in Bangkok who will do something called scalping. They will buy all of the available tickets so you'll go up to a desk and they will tell you sorry there's no tickets available for that date. If that happens, that means one of the tour company places has brought them all and you can go and buy one off them and they will charge you more. Apparently the authorities know that this happened but aren't really cracking down on it. Didn't happen to us thankfully, but I can imagine it does happen in high season. Yeah, I don't really have a lot more else to say. It was so much fun. I love trains. The first train was very smooth. The second train was a lot older and a lot of the time we had big bangs and it would like almost be bumping off the rails and apparently 12 trains a year up to Chiang Mai get derailed a year. Now I don't think they're catastrophic derailings like the whole train, all the carriages flip off and roll down a hill, but 12 are derailed even slightly. So <laughs> that was always in our mind when we heard a sudden bang but hey, it wakes you up in the morning. So just to give you a quick travel update, I am in Auckland now in New Zealand. We've been spending the past few days since we arrived hunting for a more permanent place to stay here for a little while. I've got a lot of work to catch up on. My partner needs to find some work to update his funds. And finding a place that will accept couples is a nightmare. Oh. Good God. But it's fun, it's really cold, and I can't wait to get out and explore New Zealand. And as soon as I do, obviously, I'll be taking you with me and showing you about. But I haven't really seen much. I've spent one day out in Auckland, that is it. But we're gonna be getting ourselves a car tomorrow, so hopefully, we'll be able to see some sights. So I hope you like this video, it's just a very quick run through about my time, a few hints, a bit of advice. It's very unknown taking an overnight train in Asia if you've never done it before. So I thought I'd just put together this and show you the footage I had. It was so much fun, so cheap, and I will put the price somewhere on the screen of what it cost us for a one way. Don't forget you can subscribe, keep up to date with all my travels and get some advice as well. There is also Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat, all at Psycho Traveller, but the links are down below and I should see you on Monday, but you know what I'm like. Love you. So we have just got into Bangkok for our second, technically third day, even though the first day we did absolutely nothing except celebs and swimming pool. So we just brought our sleep train ticket to Chiang Mai. We're leaving tomorrow night. It came